This week's episode of Bariatric TV is sponsored by Bariatric Advantage, the most complete line of micronutrient replacements specifically designed for the weight loss surgery patient. Help support the show by ordering your Bariatric Advantage products directly from the BTV eStore. This week's show is sponsored by Celebrate Vitamins, providing the optimum level of vitamin and mineral supplementation that's tasty and affordable. Get all of your favorite Celebrate products at CelebrateVitamins.com. Hi, it's me, Donita! Oh, and look, it's me, Linda, and we are both here to bring you some hellacious fun in the wide world of weight loss surgery. So what type of fun are we bringing you this week? How about a DZF who feels like she's living life the way we're meant to? Some potent weight... What the heck was, who were you channeling there? Some post weight loss surgery travel tips. Do you find yourself at the altar of the Holy Church of the Justification? And a peek at the recent SoCal weight loss surgery meet and greet. Our DZF this week is Linda, or TRBS Mom, on our forum. By the way, I like your name. Well, Linda, and the other Linda, Linda says she's glad she had weight loss surgery because I am so happy to have had weight loss surgery. I am eating healthy, exercising, and living life the way it was meant to be lived. Hats off to you, Linda, with the great name. Sheesh, I'm surrounded by Lindas. Or is it Lindai? Now, Linda, don't forget to send us your address and phone number to feedback at bariatrictv.com so we can get some Revival Soy Chips headed in your direction. Yo, Lindas of all types, let's stick around for the dumping ground. I don't feel good. Welcome to the dumping ground. We recently received a forum post that we just knew we had to answer, especially since Linda and I are heading out of town for a few days of vacation. Cheryl Damon asked us a simple question. How do you handle traveling? Well, Cheryl, there are actually several things you can do. First of all, let's tackle the question of vitamins. To begin with, count out enough of your vitamins to last you the length of the trip. Then put them in a container. I find an old empty vitamin container works great for this. Next, you'll want to keep a day or two's worth in a little Ziploc bag for easy access on the day of travel and so you don't forget to take them. An added plus is I often find that taking my vitamins on the plane tastes better than the airline food and can even help take the edge off the munchies. Oh, and if you're worried about security, I can tell you I have never been stopped at security for carrying vitamins. As far as your protein drink, find a protein drink that you don't have to doctor up. Bariatric Advantage has the new orange cream that is just awesome and all you have to do is add water. Celebrate has several that also taste good. They even have an ENS line that is a protein drink and multivitamin. They come in tasty flavors like chocolate milk, vanilla cake batter, and their new strawberry flavor. If you do buy one of the big tubs of protein, you can always scoop out enough for the week and put it in a Ziploc baggie. Remember to take the scooper too. Roll that up and then stuff it all into a blender bottle. If you don't have time to order a blender bottle online, I found them at Bed Bath & Beyond as well as vitamin stores and organic product stores. As far as food is concerned, no matter where you go, you can usually find bariatric friendly stuff. Even most convenience stores these days carry cheese sticks, beef jerky, hard boiled eggs, and some even carry our favorite protein bars. In a pinch, just eat the guts out of a Sammy. Yum. Sandwich guts, it's what's for dinner. But if you're like Linda and me, and you just can't live without your RTDs or other favorite products that don't travel so well, the simple solution is to use the lovely Men in Brown. Men in Brown? Yep, the UPS guys or FedEx if you prefer. If you know where you are staying, you can just ship your favorite products to your destination. The hotel is very used to things getting shipped to them. Just be sure to have it addressed to your hotel and then write guest and then your name. Well, we certainly hope we gave you a few tips to help you with your travel. The most important tip we can give you is to have a good time. You'll find traveling after surgery is so much easier than before. Now, how about we go all to your reality? If cookies are your crack, you can have them for a snack. Just justify, justify, justify. Welcome, my sisters and brothers, to the Holy Church of the Justification. Tell me, do you crave the sweet goodness of the mini peanut butter cup? Yes, I do. 
And tell me, sisters and brothers, ah, do you long for the salty, crunchy goodness of that bag of Tostitos? Oh, hell yes, you know I do. Well, I'm here to tell you today, yes I am, that you can have it all. <gasps> Close that gaping lower mandible, my sister. I speak the truth. Yes, you can have those tasty snacks. Yes, you can. You just need to justify. But I'm not supposed to have Tostitos. Did you work today, my sister? Yes. I said, did you work hard today, my sister? Oh, hell yes. Then I say to you that you deserve that bag of Tostitos. Yes, you do. Rise on up. You've earned it, my hardworking sister. Oh, hell yes, I do. And what else did you do today? You had to have done something. Oh, my goodness, you had to have. I cleaned house. That's what I'm talking about. Now tell me, what does that justify for you? Yes, my sister, what does that justify? A glass of wine. There you go, my sister. Now you're getting the hang of it. Now justify, justify. I washed the dog. Bam! You get that mini peanut butter cup. I did the dishes. Can I get a slice of chocolate cake from the congregation? And I... Justify, my sister. Justify. You can do it. Well, I... I said justify, my sister. Let it out. I cleaned the toilets. Oh, oh my dear sister, you have gone and done the holiest of holies. That justifies only one thing in these hallowed halls of confectionery congregation. You, my dear sister, get to partake in the righteous ramekin of the creme brulee. Oh, yes, the creme brulee. So let me ask you, are you a card-carrying member of the Holy Church of the Justification? Do you justify foods you know you shouldn't have? Do you find ways to make it okay? You know us. We will never tell you that you can't have something. You know what is right for you. You know what works and what doesn't work. But sometimes, when we get run down, beat up, raked over the coals, smacked down, and just plain depressed or disgusted with life, we seem to think that foods we know we shouldn't have will make it all better. And if it was depression or worries that made you justify that choice, they're still there, still waiting for you to do something about it. To fix it. To finish it. To stop procrastinating about it. But now you just ate from the righteous ramekin of the creme brulee. And not only are you still beat up, smacked down, run ragged and raked over the coals, but you topped it off with a great big helping of guilt. So do yourself a favor, excommunicate yourself from the Holy Church of the Justification and freak on. Hey freaks, guess what we just did? What did we just do? We just stopped in at the SoCal meet and greet and boy did we have a great time. We did? Well, maybe not all of us. You didn't, but you had a very good reason. You had a high school reunion to go to. Mike, Danielle, and I went though. The event was hosted by none other than the famous Michelle Bakari, otherwise known as Egg Phase. Well, did you get to meet some awesome people? Of course we did. Just see for yourself. Hey, this is Tony with Bariatric TV, and I'm coming to you from the Southern California Meet and Greet, sponsored by Shelly, otherwise known as Egg Face. You can find Shelly at her website at www.theworldaccordingtoeggface.com. Let's go see who we get to meet. years and years and years ago. Yes, yes, uh, I've been with uh, OH since 2007, uh, before I even uh, had my surgery. So what made you come out today? I need more support. It seems like everybody from uh, Southern California Board is now on Facebook and there's really no, no support anymore. So I'm trying to get back in contact with uh, people that have supported me in the past. Hey guys, what are we doing here? We are meeting and greeting. Meeting and greeting, enjoying Temecula. It's beautiful here today. What are you doing here? Uh, did a little shopping first, hit a couple of the antique stores first, but mainly here to meet everybody, and it's just it's so much fun. Say there's somebody at home watching this, and they wanted to go to the meet and greet, but they sat back and went, I'm too shy, I'm afraid to meet people. Let's get some advice. Give them some advice. What do you say to them? 
sometimes you just have to step out of your box and everyone here is great they're friendly we're nice we don't bite we don't pinch and the other amazing thing is we're all telling sort of the same story. So we've had some sort of weight loss surgery and we have this great experience. And so you just kind of come and mingle and share that story and it really is like the biggest icebreaker you could ever think of. What about you? Um, get over it. <laughs> I love all of this. I love all the people. I love meeting, this meet and greet is the most fantastic idea. If you had anything to say to anybody that is thinking about having weight loss surgery, what would you say to them? Do your research. Um, definitely do your research, find out which is the best option for you and your medical condition. If your uh, medical insurance requires you to do the nutritional training, definitely do the nutritional training um, because you learn a lot. People seem to poo poo the idea of the prep classes and the, the fact that the, a lot of the insurance companies make that a requirement. And I feel like that's a shame to have that attitude because, at least for me, it was vital in my feeling confident and comfortable of going into the process of the surgery. I obviously made a great friend with it and I built an immediate um, support network from that class. What's taking one of those classes like? It really is very helpful. Um, I feel like even after taking six months of classes, after surgery, there were still so many questions I had that I didn't know, and I kind of feel like the six months, if that hinders you, you've got a lifetime that you have to do this for. If six months is gonna weed you out, it's probably a better choice for you. What did you get out of today? Today I felt like it was um, a picture of what it can be long-term. I saw a lot of people who are a ways out, and so that's confidence building. I've seen people here that are 20 minutes from my house that I would have never known were anywhere near me and you know been handing out email addresses and getting phone numbers and really building a network and I think that like I said the support is key long term to success. Steph what are you doing here today? I'm here getting support from other people who have had weight loss surgery or who are getting ready to do it. And um, what's your story? I have a band. I'm one year and three months out. I've lost 90 pounds altogether, 70 since I got my 77 since I got my band. It took me a while fighting. I had to actually fight my doctor. I told him four times I wanted it, why I wanted it. I'd done all the research and he kept telling me no. So I went and changed my doctor and found a doctor who would actually listen to what I wanted. So if somebody out there is um, struggling against their primary care physician having surgery um, like you faced, what do you say to them? I'd say be an advocate for yourself. Fight for what you want, fight for what you need. Look who I found at the Southern California meet and greet. <laughs> Allie! Hi! <laughs> hey Allie, um, since Vegas, what have you been up to? 5'7", <gasps> I've lost more weight, 157 pounds total. That's like a kindergarten class. <laughs> no more Olsen twins in the bag. Um, I have a series that's coming out. It's called Customer to Service, which we talked about before. And it's season two, and I'm in four or five episodes. It's really funny. I'm. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to be on camera at a size 11, 12. Did you tell us where we could see it before? Well, if you come to my room at... It's good. You can watch it online. It's um, If you go to Facebook and you Facebook me, then there's a whole page for customer to service or it's uh, customer to service.com. So Allie, let me ask you this. Um, you came down to the meet and greet today. Why? My twin his name is Candy and she's my really, 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 really good friend and she's having surgery in October and I came to surprise her and she's standing behind um, the camera. Um, and uh, she lives in Apple Valley and um, I wanted to see her really and I wanted to meet some other people as well, some of the people I've been talking to on Facebook. Shelly, fabulous event. It was awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know, um, June 20th was my five year anniversary and um, every year I have been buying myself a coach purse for my anniversary <laughs> and I thought I don't really need um, another coach purse. So I took the money that I would have bought with a coach purse and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get everybody together, I'm going to have a big party and it'll just be a bunch of us hanging out and get to know each other. Southern California had so many people, I was getting emails all the time, I didn't know you were from there, I didn't know you were from there. So I thought, we all need to get in the same room, hang out. What was the hardest thing about organizing this? The hardest thing? I have a two-seater car and uh, that's how everything that you saw in that room got here. So it was about 12 trips. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a two seater car. I probably should rent some sort of truck or get a boyfriend with a truck. No any boyfriends with trucks? <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. We're local. We'll yeah, work right. on that. I totally encourage everyone to do this. This is something, I mean, it's nothing like when you get a group of people who have had weight loss surgery, who have been, um, you know, obese. They know our, you know, each other's struggles. It's it's awesome. So you need to if you if you can do one of these, if you have an outlet, Twitter or a Twibe or Facebook, and you can get even if you get three or four people together, and then they hear, you know, a couple of friends who've had weight loss surgery and do that, do it because you know there's nothing like the people in this room. Well, folks, there you are. We got to talk to a lot of different people, didn't we? We got to meet some really interesting people. We got to see Allie and Shelly and Hannah and Sarah. And if you have a chance, go to a meet and greet. And um, by the way, thank you, Shelly, once again for putting this on. I can't thank you enough. And all the people here loved it, and I loved it. And um, hey, don't forget to come back and see us next week. Alrighty then, the show's over. You can go. But wait, before you go, why don't you send us an email? to feedback at bariatrictv.com and give us some feedback, suggestions, and product ideas for the next show. Won't ya? Won't you please? And be sure to check out the BTV store at btvstore.com. If you haven't yet, why not? See you next week. Bye for now. Come again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, you can have those tasty snacks. Yes, you can. You just. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Ah, clear.